Fabian. I did it, Fabian. Love the work. Funny hair. Fuck me, she kicked me out. Undo it, undo it. Shut up. Get in there. Alright, that's some good shit. You can make a good deal. Now you make a good deal for your big game. <coughs> big game, always good. Fine. What a steak. Hey, it didn't even take it. Bitch. Oh, Don't I give it to Sandra. Just keep doing alright. Say something, man. <laughs> Can you please say something, my something. Oh, God? Something. Please tell me that's your camera. You lick no. I mean, you're.
Hey, Rebecca. Sandbox. Now we're going to take a photo, see how good you all look. You're all family, right? Yep. yep. You too? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's going to be boring not seeing everyone again. Everything. Except love. 
Daniel, what are you going to miss most about your 12? <laughs> Don't film me first, alright? I've got to film. TV! TV! It's TV! Oh my God. <laughs> Friends, like people Friends. probably won't see you again after this yeah. year. Yeah. Like, no. talk. Um, <laughs> like, people. Nothing. Yeah, the skipping class. Probably a punch on school. You know how it is in school, man. School's hard school, man. Pretty much just uh, hanging out with the guys and spending lunch time, starting controversy and getting yourself in trouble. Is you, Brad? Yeah. Um, all these girls, they're my best friends. Yeah. This <laughs> <laughs> sexy uniform. I'm gonna miss all, all my oh, friends and yeah. see them every day. What are you gonna miss most about your 12? Your mum. I have no idea. Seeing all the people. Eating a sandwich. <laughs> what I'm going to miss is um, all the friendly people, all the lovely teachers. Yeah. I know what you're all thinking. It's just shimmer. This kick ass footy player. I also play basketball. But uh, I'm just going to miss like this guy. This one's for us at all. Yeah. Um, Get on it. And, uh, 05 by 6. Yeah. And now. Uh, I'm just gonna miss these guys being absolute tools. That's about it. This one was horrible. <laughs> I was I was constantly abused and degraded by the people around me. This, this cameraman is making faces to put me off. Um, truly, I'm disgusted. I'm happy to be out here. Happy. Um, definitely miss life there. Counting. All my friends uh, kicking back at recess at lunchtime. Uh, Christopher's voice and always playing those stupid jokes. Um, oh, for sure, I will miss that same role every recess. Um, I really don't know. Well, I'm gonna miss most of all my friends, people that I talk to every day. Grant stalking everyone with the camera. Um, Being school seven o'clock, uh, waking up seven o'clock in the morning to come to school. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Grant. <laughs> sure, man. The people. Yeah, I think the people. Uh, probably in the county somewhere. What about your land thing? Sitting on my front porch. A glass of white wine. Lots of cats. Most likely still in your toilet. <laughs> I want to do physio and I want to travel. I think careers will be pursued and whatnot. Hopefully someone down the line, either a lawyer or you know, perhaps a CEO of a large company. That's the dream. Supermodel. A successful person with money. I hope. <laughs> in the army. In Boksu. <laughs> I've got no idea. <laughs> well, Lauren reckons we're going to be married with two kids and working in a kinder. So, oh, three kids, sorry, my bad. I see Anthony being really immature and putting a laser on my face. There's one memory that always sticks out. It's a time in year 10, in the year 10 locker bay, when uh, Saman gave Chris such a big wedgie, it ripped his underpants. That was the funny thing I've ever seen. Rippage! Rippage! <laughs> no, nothing. Not in the Yes. <laughs> you trip well. balls here and there. You lock it, hitting of the heads. Well, I'm going to miss this deck you're sitting at the moment. And I'm going to miss Hacky Sack. The most. And I'm going to miss everybody else. Oh. Jason, spear tackling Chris from the stairs up here. <laughs> Um, oh, that's mainly it really, just Chris getting spear tackled from Jason, that was pretty funny actually. Putting uh, dog poo in Bill's locker last year would have been, had to be one of my all time favourites. It was a great time and uh, it was enjoyed thoroughly by all, so. Okay?
this photograph Every time I do it makes me laugh How did our eyes get so red And what the hell is on Joey's said? And this is where I grew up I think the president ought to fix it up I never knew we ever went without The second floor is hot for sneaking out And this is where I went to school most of the time had better things to do Criminal record says I've broken twice I must have done it half a dozen times I wonder if it's too late Should I go back and try to graduate? Last man and now that it was back then If I was them I wouldn't let me I swear to God, you can't see his face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you can. <laughs> you can't believe me. See what you did now. Oh, no. <laughs> now, this person here is your typical fucking gay cunt. Everyone hates him. Matrix. Can you say still? Let's see if it works. Okay. Matrix, just say still. Don't blink. Don't do anything, okay? Stills. 
You're the worst. Yes. The worst camera technique I've ever Beautiful. seen. The funniest moment in this school is when Chris was shit on Bill Walker and then Chris tried to come back and try to get it. That's the funniest moment in my school. You're gonna have that papers for the whole freaking day. I got like an hour of timing right now, so what are you gonna do? First victim. First victim. How do you Two guys thinking about how to do this. Chris frustrated with his acting skills. Jason upset that his shoe is untied. They're laughing at him, not with him. Bye sweethearts. God, that's a fat arm. <laughs> He's walking up into the distance. These two fierce warriors found lives in the most unlikely of places. Exactly. In each other's arms. It's beautiful. Into the jungle. It's beautiful when two people like this can... People staring at them. ...together and not care what anyone thinks. Do not take my life! God, that just spoke me for that. The wrong advice will lie over me. She was not in her right mind, but possessed by that. And paid no heed to him. She grasped his right arm between wrist and elbow, set her foot against his rib, and tore his arm off by the shoulder. There was no strength in hers that did it. The gods filled her and made it easy. On the other side, you know was that? Tearing at his flesh. And then a tire joined them. And the whole man had a little horn. The single and continuous, continuous, but, um, the single and continuous yellow rose. Pentium shrieking as long as life was left in him. Thank you. Good on you. Have a good one. Done. Bye bye.